Hi friends, I am Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda. I am an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirit and tarot to communicate energies to you, the viewer. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you stumble across this, the message was meant to find you. Um, we will be taking a look at how the person on your mind thinks you feel about them or this connection between you and them. So it's coming from their perspective. So it may, um, be something you're unaware of and certainly could be a subjective truth to them but um, yeah we will do three piles here so if you're new to pick a cards there will be timestamps in the description box below or in the pinned comment and it will take you to your pile of choice the first pick here is the light seers tarot which i just got and absolutely love 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 um so yeah this is pile one okay pile number two is the star spinner tarot all right and pile number three is the tarot of the divine okay so take a look at these three and you might be drawn to more than one pile and as is the case with most of my readings there might be bleed through from multiple piles but one pile will be the bulk of the message spirit has for you in regards to how your person is thinking you feel or see the connection between you and them okay so feel free to pause the video and then i will see you at your timestamp hello beautiful pile number one if you pick the light seers tarot deck then this will be your reading so we're going to be asking spirits to communicate to us um, what your person, the person on your mind, thinks uh, you feel for them in this connection and how you're feeling and how you see the connection. We will be using the Light Seer's Tarot and then we will be using some Oracle cards as well. So what we will do is... Hmm, I'm wondering if I should tap into, before I get into that whole thing, maybe I'll just do an overall general to see if this is your pile. And you could tell me if this is something that's resonating for you. Um, I don't know what spirit's going to show us, but if this resonates, then we can get into the reading itself. Okay. So we have the Fool. Okay, well, the Fool talks about new beginnings. So there could e either be a new beginning in this connection between you and this person. This could be a completely new connection. Um, this could be you wanting to move away from somebody and start something new, but it's talking about starting new. So maybe this person um, has recently been acting in such a way that's changed the course of the direction of this connection. Um, and then we have here the Page of Cups, okay? So Page of Cups is speaking about, you know, offering um, a cup of love, the initial stages of um, showing love, potentially the first stages of communicating emotions, okay? So either there's been a recent expression of from your person to you in regards to where they kind of want to go or at least how they're feeling in this connection or you've communicated this to your person recently but there's this newness with the page because the page speaks of communication it also speaks of um an infancy stage of expression expressing emotions um also what i'm getting from this card because this guy's looking at his own feet is like this very magical creative um energy i'm getting so maybe this connection has been very inspiring um and there is a deep um creative bond between you and your person maybe you guys share music art um creative inspirations between the two of you guys and I feel like there's also this unspoken communication that happens between you and this person, or at least this is how they're feeling, okay? And then, yeah, intuition. I was getting that from this card. I was speaking very loudly with my intuition, um, rather than just what the, you know, the book definition of the Page of Cups. I was getting that heavy ability to communicate and um, intuitively, I think your person... Um, can really connect with you on a 
creative level and I feel like you guys inspire each other in some capacity or at least your your person is highly inspired by you or vice versa here I'm feeling that's really a big part of how you guys are bonding or connecting um also I'm seeing this pig with wings so maybe there's part of your person that feels as though or that you feel as though this connection could never really happen um there is a new beginning so maybe there was this feeling that this new beginning wouldn't happen or there is some sort of um maybe this connection won't you know um go all the way in at some capacity or there's no way that we'd ever be able to kind of get this off the ground with the feet up and the pigs growing wings yeah there's some feeling of not being able to get this off the ground okay but there is a new beginning and if you haven't experienced a new beginning maybe there is a new beginning around the corner maybe you're sensing with the intuition that there is a new beginning somewhere around the corner that hasn't quite happened yet but that's totally what i'm getting from these three cards if this sounds like your connection then let's get into what your person is thinking that you feel about them okay so Thank you so much, pile number one, for allowing me to tap into your energy and your person's energy. I am so grateful. And Spirit, thank you so much for the clear and concise message we just got. Please provide pile number one with clear and concise message. Take it, yeah. Um, regarding how their person is thinking that pile number one is feeling about them. What are they thinking pile number one feels? For them in this connection about them what are their thoughts about this thank you so much spirit yes. so give it a good shuffle i shuffled these pretty good uh earlier because like i mentioned this is a new deck and i really love how that page of cups was really speaking to me about uh, creativity and intuition and then we got that intuition card so very cool okay spirit thank you so much we have the ten of wands Ooh, this came out and it is uh upgrade or reverse oh seems to leave it in reverse um yeah that card came out that was the very first card i ever drew um <laughs> when i did the reading earlier today with these cards so very cool ten of wands okay already getting messages wow these cards are really talking to me the tower this also came out and i only pulled like four cards interesting okay the tower maybe you're still around from er today's earlier reading okay saying to leave them as they come out and just to communicate to the energy so we got the ten of wands in reverse we got the tower and then we got the ten of pentacles in reverse we got the two of pentacles and we got the two of wands okay so why is the ten of wands here spirit in reverse why is the ten of wands here in reverse got the knight of pentacles in reverse okay why is the tower here got the page of wands in reverse okay why is the ten of wands or ten of pentacles here in reverse the star mm. why is the two okay the magician and why do we have the two of wands here what's going on with this two of wands the world no five of swords okay <clears throat> and we got the hangman so i was getting um distance uh for a lot of you guys which is why i said the world i just feel like maybe there's like some distance here between you and your person uh especially because we're seeing the pigs grow wings so maybe potentially um yeah you guys are like kind of worlds apart here but anyway hangman on the bottom of the deck so there is i feel a new way this connection is moving okay because hangman talks about getting gaining a new perspective on a situation and maybe there's been um a period of no movement you could still be in this period of no movement but <clears throat> what's happening is that there is a new perspective here going on okay i feel like your person is thinking that you are seeing them in um yeah that your person is thinking that you're seeing them now from a new light or coming uh to a different conclusion about them 
I feel like maybe in the recent past, your person felt as though their lifestyle or how they were showing up in this connection was um, almost um, too much for you. Okay, it was like too much for you to handle. And they feel like this is the reason why you feel as though they weren't moving in this, um, this connection forward and that they weren't communicating to you, um, they weren't communicating to you exactly what their struggles and the reasons why they probably weren't uh, progressing forward in this connection. They feel like you are over burdened or have a heaviness about this, that there's little communication about how this is progressing and where it's going. And they also feel like this could be potentially a reason why this um, connection has either experienced a tower moment, or at least you feel like this is why there's a tower moment, because there's been a uh, little communication about this and your person feels as though you're really um, carrying this heaviness about, you know, this lack of communication, this lack of movement. And I feel like this is a new perspective from your person recently because we did see the Fool card. So maybe they're actually understanding um, what this has done to you. Okay. And there's some heavy consideration around what that looks like. And I feel like your person wishes that you and them could build this Ten of Pentacles together, which is family and stability. It's like long-term um, long legacy, building a family, grandkids, home. And I feel like your person really wants to experience this with the Star card with you, but I feel as though they think they're not sure if you feel the exact same way that they do, um, or at least to the same level. I feel like they feel as though they want to um, sort out any sort of challenges that is preventing this from happening. And I feel like they think you might be waiting on them to figure stuff out in order to create this Ten of Pentacles. Because the Magician talks about, you know, um, being able to manifest things in this 3D world. The Magician can make things happen. And I think they feel as though maybe you're kind of frustrated with them not being able to prioritize this connection in some sort of capacity to establish this Ten of Pentacles with them. And I feel like this tower moment is really what led them to getting gaining this greater perspective. And I feel like they feel like you're getting kind of maybe, um, yeah, just tired of waiting and like you're waiting on them and that you're potentially getting overburdened by how they've been showing up in this connection and that they've caused you um, nothing but grief up until now with their inability to manifest they really feel like with this dreams come true the star like this hope this desire that they have is, is this ten of pentacles with you and it's really building that family but they're not quite sure if they um yeah they're not quite sure if you are kind of wanting to build the same thing that they are wanting to build now because of this tower moment that it maybe at some point you did but now you're kind of maybe looking to other things to bring you this uh, stability that they were unable to bring in and manifest with you. Okay, so how else is pile number one's person thinking pile number one is feeling about them? Thank you, Spirit. So we got Chameleon. Stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events oh my god direct okay attempting to direct the course of events yeah they feel as though you are kind of burdened by the fact that they haven't been able to attempt to take direction in this connection and that they at all times would have the ability to move forward and communicate and they've been kind of just there being more of a burden to you in some capacity rather than again taking control of the situation and they feel like this has caused you pain um, and has potentially even caused you to look away from this connection as far as where it is that you want to go, where it is that you're going to get your Ten of Pentacles. And a lot of them might feel even with the pigs growing wings, this being a distance card, 
this is also speaking about distance um that maybe there's some distance keeping you guys apart like geographically uh and you might be kind of looking closer to home or closer to where maybe you might be able to build stability outside of this connection because either they yeah they just feel like they overload you with um burden because they haven't been moving forward and maybe that's just it like they're not necessarily they overload you with the way that they are, but that you're overloaded with the burden of the fact that he, they haven't progressed this connection because you guys are just too distant. And it's caused, it's the, it's the cause of pain in this connection between you and this person. And that you feel as though you're not, they're not prioritizing you as such, that it's something that they're able to manifest, but they're not stepping up. Flow. Yeah, maybe they've been going kind of with the flow of, um, this connection and you have been but it really hasn't been progressing um just kind of more um happening the way it's happening rather than there being take charge or any sort of manifestations of coming together which i think they're identifying this as being a cause of stress um for you and i'm wondering i think they're more concerned about how you feel about this than them I think they've been okay going with the flow, being this chameleon, kind of staying in the background, adapting to the situation. But I feel like they really want this Ten of Pentacles. Um, but I feel like maybe their pace is just not matching what you want here. The Drowned King. Yeah, that talks about um, an ego death. Um, and... Yeah, potentially there's been... A period of time in this connection where your person was working on themselves or focusing or prioritizing on themselves with this drowned king and i feel like this has been kind of consuming them or at least their focus so they've been more chameleon in this connection that's um you know someone who's just kind of there in the background not really driving things not really being um you know, with this, with this page of wands and this knight of pentacles talking about moving forward. Um, they've kind of been more held back in some capacity, going with the flow of where the connection's going rather than being more uh, direct. Because, I mean, the king also takes control of the situation here. So I'm really getting also, aside from maybe the ego death and focusing on that, I feel like they haven't really been king material here. They haven't really been driving the connection forward and they sense that you're feeling that you're thinking this okay and there's some sort of expectation here that you have that they could or should or would be able to do this if they really wanted to and um it's causing all sorts of heaviness in this connection okay so let's go one layer deeper to see how else they think you feel and see what we see Thank you, Spirit, for that. How else does pile number one's person think pile number one feels about them and this connection? Yeah, we're, we were more seeing how they think you feel about the connection rather than really about them. Aside from you thinking that they're not doing what they can. Yeah, these two. Doing all that they can to move things forward and it's causing you frustration and a heaviness. Um... Okay, so we got Queen of Wands in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse. Let's keep going. Spirit, how is pile number one's person think pile number one feels about them and about this connection? Thank you. King of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Got the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles upright. We got the King of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. And we got the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. Interesting. Let's keep going. It's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of um, court cards and mm. King of Cups in reverse. Oh my god, you guys see this? The Hermit in reverse. Okay, keep going. The 
Three of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. I'm going to cough. Give me a second. <coughs> Sorry. Ace of Swords. And Magician again. Yeah. Okay. This is message is loud. And the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay. Six of Swords. But I don't read bottom of the deck reverse. But it doesn't really matter. There we see the Two of Pentacles again. Yeah, Six of Swords. I'll leave it like it is. Okay, so what I'm really picking up here is that um, your person feels almost as though you're going to give up on them or have given up on them because the Queen of Wands kind of is really um, bringing in and working actively on bringing in what it is she wants. She's also a go-getter. She's very focused, dedicated, very attractive, uh, very passionate, and knows what she wants. With this in reverse, I feel like your person feels as though you feel like um, they've given up and they also feel like you've given up in this situation, okay? So you've given up on the fact that they weren't able to manifest or move this connection forward. So you've now decided to kind of pull away your energy in some capacity. They feel as though maybe because they haven't been open with their emotions here with the King of Cups in reverse, that they've been not communicating what that looks like and stepping forward, okay? Because uh, the Hermit in reverse talks about like coming out of this state of reflection and being able to come out with the Knight of Swords. This is someone, this is very quick action, going after what they want, taking action um, and facing a challenge, okay? But they feel as though they haven't stepped forward to face the challenge. And potentially the challenge here was one, communicating or at least expressing or letting out emotions in some capacity or another, okay? And they also feel as though, although they've been consistent um, in this connection here with this King of Pentacles and wanting some sort of... Um, stable situation okay whatever stable means to them maybe more consistent i should say a consistent situation but potentially not in the same um like whatever stability means to you potentially might have not have been the extent of where this connection was sitting but it has been pretty consistent where it's been at and that you think that this person feels content or a sense of stability or um, committed to how the situation was going with the flow. And I got the three of pentacles in reverse, which is totally confirming to me, again, that uh, desire to collaborate and work together and make, um, create this relationship as is in reverse. I feel like your person um, thinks that you feel as though they haven't been dedicated in putting forward energy and effort. Okay. And they think that you feel as though, um, yeah, that there's more that they could have been investing here in the connection. The King of Wands in reverse is totally giving me that drowned king. Okay. And maybe they've been very King of Wands here. I feel like they have been very King of Wands, which is, you know, somebody who's passionate, but uh, more focused on their desires than it is here about emotions, feelings, and potentially the Full fulfillment of that king of pentacles which would allow for that ten of pentacles that we were seeing okay which we know that they were wanting as well but for whatever reason they were kind of being um a little hung up in um in moving forward but there is some truth here with the ace of swords that this king of pentacles kind of has to die away or go away and i think that they feel that you know that they need to put away this king of wands attitude and put an end to this king of wands attitude you know, um, someone who is more focused on their own desires and driving their own type of types of agendas because it's not conducive to working together towards building a solid commitment of a Ten of Pentacles because King of Pentacles talks about, you know, the father card, the committed card, the solid, stable rock, right? Foundation of a commitment. And I feel like <clears throat> in order to do that, they're going to have to kill this King of Wands. That's kind of the truth of the situation. So... I feel like they understand that um, with the magician here, that you want them to manifest uh, that type of uh, an energy here in this connection and that there's been challenges and struggles around communicating what this, this looks like. And this has been really um, your bone of contention. And maybe you have already communicated this to them, or if you haven't, um, I feel as though they just know because again this is how they think you feel there's this knowing that this is a conversation that kind of needs to happen 
we've probably been acting a little bit immature when it comes to what that looks like. And because we have the Six of Swords in the bottom, um, I feel as though there is uh, a need to move away from this energy, okay? This kind of immature type energy, Page of Swords in reverse, you know, this Knight of Swords needs to go after challenges and face something, and I feel like there's been stalling. There's been, you know, no real forward progression towards what a commitment would look like. Um, and they're kind of still stalling out. So they feel like you feel they're stalling out here and not um, letting go of this energy. Yeah, and a need for prioritization. So that's how they're feeling that you feel. So maybe you've already communicated this to them. We're going to pull some of this too, just to see if we get anything further. Spirit, for pile number one, how is pile number one's person think pile number one's feeling? Oh, sulfur. Okay. And one of these. Um, we got Kiwi. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. Okay. And one of these. So this walking meditation, I, I'm getting out of the Kiwi, the Six of Swords, this need to walk away uh, from that type of an energy. And I feel like with the sulfur here, it is contaminating this connection in some capacity. They feel like that action alone is really ruining their chance at getting a Ten of Pentacles. They feel like you feel that is as well, like their inability to face a challenge to kind of come out and be more um, cooperative in this connection, that they have this ability and they chose not to prioritize. Yeah, in order for there to be growth and this connection to move forward. Okay, so they can recognize this. And I mean, this is how they think you feel. So, you know, potentially this is right. Um, potentially this is exactly how you're feeling. Or maybe this is an energy that you've already communicated to them. So this is how they're taking it. And yeah, the sulfur is really um, knowing that there is this heavy contamination of something that's just you know starting to stink up the rest of the connection because of this um this action okay so maybe they didn't do anything like severe but i feel like what they're doing by maybe stalling or holding back in some capacity uh and not moving and more going with the flow and being more king of wands has been really now bleeding into the rest of this connection and that you're contemplating or have um yeah, that you're contemplating. I don't think you've left this connection yet. I think you guys are still together, but because I'm seeing Queen of Wands in reverse, do the walk away and the Six of Swords in reverse, I feel like they're still, you guys are still trying to make it work, but that they feel a heaviness that you're pulling away and that you are thinking that because of their state, you want to pull yourself out of this connection and move towards something that allows for you to get more growth or that gives you that Ten of Pentacles that they're unable to up until now provide to you. Okay. Yeah, and I don't see anything here that that's um, changing them because I guess I didn't ask about whether they are or they are stepping into this magician, whether they're facing the truth. All we did see was that hangman, which is uh, gaining a better perspective. And so, and we saw the fool. So I feel like your person is really now understanding this. Okay. They have recently, I feel like very, very recently, have come into this understanding of how you feel. So maybe you've said it many times before, and maybe that's why now you're kind of maybe potentially moving away and they could sense this, or at least contemplating what to do to kind of grow yourself out of this connection. But that hangman, I feel, and the fool was communicating them recently coming into this realization, okay? So maybe them coming into this realization will impact how they move. Um, I did a reading yesterday about, you know, their next move in the connection. So potentially um, there's some feedback there as far as what they're going to do next but this is how they're thinking that you're feeling right now about them and the connection leave a comment leave a like and if you haven't subscribed please do so i wanted to thank my um existing subscribers from the get-go thank you so much i couldn't have done this without your support and also for my new subscribers i am so blessed so grateful i hope you stay i hope this helps heal and love and light see you soon Hello, my beautiful pile number two. If you pick the Star Spinner Tarot, then this reading is for you. So we will be taking a look at your person, the person on your mind, and how they think you feel about them and this connection as a whole, okay? So what we're going to do, um, so that you know this is your pile, we're just going to pull a few cards here. 
um, to see if this is your pile. So spirit, we'll just ask for general energy around this connection. So that pile number one knows, or sorry, pile number two knows that this is their pile that they're going to resonate with and whatever you want to show us, clear and concise message. Thank you so much, spirit. And thank you so much, pile number two, for allowing me to tap into the energy of you and your person. I'm so blessed. Thank you so much. Now, this is coming from their perspective of how they think you feel about them and the connection. So this might be very subjective and it may or may not resonate with what you're feeling. But this beginning part should kind of resonate as far as what's going on in the connection um, for you as you're kind of experiencing it so that you know whether this is your pile before we get into the, their subjective um, opinions about how they think you feel and etc etc pile number one was more about how um i guess the person thought that the other person um was seeing the connection or feeling in that connection um rather than feeling about them so we might get feelings um about them specifically or just about the connection okay which I feel is two different things, but we'll see whatever spirit wants to communicate here for pile, ooh, pile number two, and whether this will resonate as their pile. All right, what do we have? We'll pull three of these. We got the Queen of Cups. Wow, so Cancer Scorpio Pisces, if you're resonating with that, most likely your pile here. And we got the Six of Swords, Upright or Reverse Spirit. It's upright, okay, and I'm feeling this one here. Eight of Cups, also upright. Wow, oh, okay, interesting. Let's pull one of these. Love. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm really getting here, aside from if you are resonating Cancer Scorpio Pisces, because that's giving me very heavy uh, vibes, especially here with cups as well, same heavy vibes. But what I'm really feeling in this point in this connection is, one, you are a very deep, intuitive person, okay? Uh, in this connection, there's been a lot of pain, and you are either in a period of separation in a transition in this connection that's very very painful and i feel like you are with the uh, six of swords and the eight of cups this is leaving a situation that not only caused a lot of mental strife but also emotional pain i feel like you're very emotionally connected and emotionally invested but had to step away um, in order to heal and in order to um yeah very painful walking away okay so Either your person's given you reason to walk away or they have walked away, but I'm feeling like you had to choose love of yourself. You had to choose love. And I feel like there's a deep love for this person still. And I feel as though you guys are just kind of in a period of either separation or distance or no contact of sorts because of the fact that there needs to be a recognition in what's going on in this connection that's been very painful. And I also feel like you're potentially waiting to hear from this person, either coming back with change or coming back in some sort of capacity that's going to help this connection get better from a state of crazy and non-fulfillment emotionally and just mentally you've been very exhausted very drained and you feel like you had to kind of take the reins in order to move forward and press away but I feel like you de deeply deeply love this person and I feel like this person deeply, deeply loves you. And I think intuitively, you know this as well. I'm going to pull one more card here. I feel like intuitively, you really know this, which is why it's so difficult for you to pull away. And I feel like you're kind of know that your person's just going about their business, pretending that I say pretending, but maybe acting as though nothing's happened and everything is normal. And this is causing even more pain in some sort of way. Um, but do you know spirit is telling me that they definitely are feeling pain, um, although they might be kind of maintaining their everyday, this is not the case. Oh my god, intuition. I was totally going to say <laughs> when I said, okay, <laughs> this just confirms to me, yeah, that you know and they know that you guys are both kind of feeling the same way, but they are kind of in a state of, I mean, 
not wanting to face this connection for what it is. I feel very heavy here that there is this deep, deep, deep spiritual love, okay? With all this water too, like so much love. Water, water, water. Like, I mean, all this is swords, but I mean, this ship is on water, okay? So even though this isn't a water card, there's still water present. And the fact that we got this sweet, sweet love, this is like true love, lovers, okay? I feel like this is definitely giving me very heavy um, twin flame slash soulmate slash very deep, connection here okay but it is coming right now with a period of pain or yeah i feel like you're in this transition right now this is how i feel is going on in this connection okay and you're such a beautiful soul here very loving very caring very uh deeply intuitive very creative okay it's very sweet and i feel like i've done readings for you before because i recognize this energy very beautiful okay so let me now go into if you resonate with that, let me go into what your person thinks you feel about them and this connection. So Spirit, thank you so much. I'm not going to take it, but we will see what's popped out. Four of Wands and Death. Oh my goodness, you guys. Take a look. Four of Wands confirms to me Twin Flame again. Okay, this is my 1111 card. So if you are resonating Twin Flame Journey, I feel this is destined. With this Death card, I feel like this definitely is a transition. Time. Okay, we did see the eight, uh, the eight of cups and the six of swords, which is transitioning away from a period of time. I don't feel like the death, not yet, spirit. There's lots coming out. Okay, bursting at the seams. In fact, I feel like I got to talk really fast. I'm gonna try to calm down because I want you to follow. Let's do this very calmly, spirit. Please wait till I'm ready because I want to give a good shuffle here. Um, what I was gonna say is that there is a death to an existing situation here. Okay. I don't feel as though that death is talking about the death of this connection. I feel like this connection transcends time and space. And I feel there's this deep, deep love here that's needing to happen. Okay, so let's ask spirits, clear and concise. Holy, just dying to come out, aren't you? The moon. Okay, I will take it. This one's wanting to come out as well. We got the star. You guys, the moon. This is like... <laughs> I haven't had feelings like this in a very long time. I, I must admit, this is very crazy. So I think this is where I'm growing as a reader because I got to keep my own energy in check and it's very difficult for me to do so, okay? The moon and the star. Wow. These are some deep, deep, deep... Oh my... Every time I touch it, it's like... I, oh my God. Four of Wands. You know how I feel about the Four of Wands, okay? This is like... Twin flames. This is coming together. This is coming into unity, building um, a future together, coming together. Marriage, if you believe in marriage, building something together. Okay, so that being the center, because I'm going to go pull two more, because this is about how your person thinks you feel. Okay, but that's just coming through very strong. The devil, and that one was coming in reverse. We're going to keep that one in reverse. What else do we have? We have the Five of Cups, and that one's in reverse. Okay. Why is the moon here, Spirit? Why is the moon here? How does pile number two's person think pile number two feels right now about them and the connection? Seven of Cups. Okay. Why is the star here? Four of Swords. All right. Why? Don't want to take all these. Why is the Four of Wands here, Spirits? We got the Page of Wands, okay. And why is the Devil here in reverse? We got the Three of Wands, and that is in reverse. And then what's going on here with the Five of Cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? And we got the Three of Swords in reverse. And bottom of the deck energy, we got the Tower. And don't read bottom of the decks in reverse. And then the Wheel of Fortune or the Wheel of Fate in this deck, which is talking all about what I've been saying, which is why I'm getting super duper goosebumps here. Uh, major, 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 major arcana. Okay, major arcana. And it's just very powerful and very crazy. Okay, <clears throat> so... Let me get gain my thoughts. I feel your person has a lot to say, okay? Which is why I'm going to talk very fast. I feel like your person is in a state right now um, that they feel as though you know the truth about this connection, 
and that you've known the truth about this connection and that they've been, they feel that you think that they have been um, not in line with what the truth of this connection is, okay? They also feel as though um, you have a deep love in the same way they do. They know that um, you are their wish come true and that you feel as though you guys share a very deep, deep, deep connection. The moon's talking about um, feminine energy here. So I'm feeling like the moon is the moon stage of this connection, which is really only reflecting parts of this connection, is only allowing you guys to see certain parts of this connection. And there needs to be, like, I'd love to see sun here in some capacity because what I feel like your person thinks that you're only seeing maybe parts of this connection um, from some angle that um, is challenging, okay? And they feel like you with the seven of cups have maybe a clouded way <clears throat> of seeing this connection um because you are being led by your feelings and your emotions and this other level of um what they're still kind of coming to terms with okay because the moon talks about like seeing things in a different um light right like things in the moonlight look different than they do in the daylight and potentially it, the only things reflective here is what uh light is being casted off of this and the seven of cups is all these options clouded thinking but heavy fantasy and i feel like they think you are um in this state of trying to um, pull away in, in a capacity for you to gain a better understanding of what this connection means. And I feel like they think that you don't think that they understand or at least have come to terms with what this connection could actually mean for the both of you guys, okay? Now, there is this page of wands which talks about starting a conversation and having a discussion about what this connection means specifically if it is a twin flame connection or just like having this conversation about uh stabilizing and building this um you know the foundations of this connection they feel like you're wanting them to move forward with this communication and what's happening right now is that they aren't wanting to talk about the future with the three of wands okay again this is what they think you think about them they're not wanting to talk about the future of this connection um and that they are they've been in this devil type energy and really kind of stuck in a in a um yeah, they've been stuck in, in a sort of energy that's holding them back from this connection, okay? And they feel that you know this, and that's caused a lot of pain here with the Five of Cups and a lot of heartache. But the fact that I feel that this is reverse is confirming to me that what they're showing on the outside and what you believe to be true is driving the actions on the outside, which is stands to reason, okay? So you pull away, maybe you're healing here. They feel like you're a lot, there's some clouded judgment here about what's actually going on because what they're showing isn't reflective of what's actually going on. So they really don't know what's going on, okay? Because I feel like you, and this is me just coming as an outsider perspective, I feel that you understand that whatever they're doing on the inside isn't matching the outside, so therefore it causes all this pain. But what they're thinking is that the way you're reacting in this connection is because of how, they, how they've showed up. Okay, and how they've showed up is counterproductive to how they're actually feeling. So now they're thinking, well, you think that I don't want a future with you and that, you know, that I'm causing you all this heartache and heartbreak because I'm choosing this devil energy and not seeing it. But in a deep soul level, they know that you guys feel the same way about each other and what this connection means and that you're wanting them to step forward and discuss what this stability and this partnership and building this you know this four of wands looks like um but they feel like you'd rather just kind of be hanging on to maybe um 
an idea fantasy because of the simple fact that they haven't showed up and that's all that they've given to you. So that's kind of what you're hanging on to in some capacity. Not that you're there waiting, but that's what how this has um, resulted and this is why you've had to move away or pull away with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups because what you're seeing last of them is what they want you to see or what they think that you see, okay? And it is uh, causing them a lot of pain because they feel as though they haven't really been truthful or showed up in this connection the way that they're really needing to okay and with the tower moment here being kind of the undertone i feel like you guys are definitely going through this tower moment because i mean you have no other way of reacting other than to how they're showing up and if they're not showing up in such a way well this is definitely going to cause a tower moment i feel it has caused a tower moment so this is how they're feeling in this tower moment about how you're feeling and this wheel of fortune is confirming to me again this is kind of how it's supposed to happen and i know this sounds really odd in some capacity because definitely nobody should be causing you pain but i feel like this person is being asked to um really work with their devil energy okay and they kind of have to go through this which sounds bad but i feel like pain sometimes uh, is required in order for us to progress ourselves uh in an area that needs development you know and i gave this a lot of thought just to add my two cents about you know why is pain required why can't we learn things um without all this pain and i just feel like the depth of the lessons needing to be learned can only really be realized and felt to a soul level to make movement and cause um, cause movement in that wheel again, that wheel of fortune, that wheel of fate. Once um, you reach a state that really touches your heart in such a way, and nothing touches a heart more than you know pain and grief and sadness and loss. So I feel like this person is kind of choosing this state in actively choosing the state um, because they kind of need to choose that state in order for them to progress which sounds really painful for them but i don't think that this person would want to choose pain right and i don't think this person wants to cause you pain but i do feel like they feel they've caused you pain and this is why you're pulling away um yeah lots of passion here okay so i feel like they feel you are still yeah, they, they still feel like you're into them and that you're passionate about them, but that it's understandable that you're kind of at where you're at because of how they've been showing up in this connection and that you're just acting this way because of how they've been um, acting. Okay. Uh, gross. So express yourself through rhythm and movement and drumming and dancing. This express yourself, I feel like, um, you know, rhythm, movement, dancing. I feel like, yeah. The way that they are showing up in this connection they haven't been really truly expressing themselves to the depths of what this actually is because i feel like both of you guys are aligned when it comes to deep soul vibration okay and so when you show up in such a way and this person isn't it causes a lot of pain to you because it's like their vibrational external world isn't lined up so i feel like this person is working on releasing this devil energy so that they can show up in the 3d world vibrating at the same level for you guys to you know work on this four of wands and also have these honest communications about what the desires are and how to progress this connection but i feel like it took this tower moment and we're looking at the wheel of fate and here we have this two of coins which talks about you know um, bringing balance back into this connection because it's very much so right now one person is at a level um and i think definitely this is you at a level that your internal desires and wants need to be balanced with the external of what's coming in and this is important to you um and for them, they're feeling one way and showing up in a different. And this is very imbalanced. It's not giving you the balance that you need with this person. So I think you had no choice but to kind of step away. Um, let's go down deeper, another layer here and see what we see. Now, again, we're only asking about how they think you feel. So if you are curious about how they're going to move forward in this connection, you could definitely take a look at the reading I did yesterday, which is their next move. In this connection because that might help but i'm not really seeing what they're you know going to do or how they're truly feeling aside from the fact that uh i was getting heavy uh internal not matching the external ways that they're coming to you in this connection has caused that tower moment okay wow this is really intense so 
hopefully uh, I'm doing it justice here as far as what needs to come out. So Spirit, can we get some more um, deeper understanding here of Pile Number Two's person and how they are thinking Pile Number Two feels about uh, them and this connection at this time? What do they think Pile Number Two feels and thinks about this connection at this time? All right, so we need this way. Okay. We have the Two of Wands and we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Let's keep going. And we have the Temperance in reverse. There's that need for balance again. Uh, we have the Ace of Coins and we got the Ten of Swords. Okay. So why is the two of wands here, spirit? Got the five of wands. Okay, and why is the nine of coins here? Ace of swords in reverse. Why is temperance in reverse? Again, we're seeing that four of swords, but now it's in reverse. Okay, why is the ace of coins here? Hangman. And finally, the ten of swords. Why is this here? We're seeing the page of coins, and I don't think I need to clarify that ten of swords yet. And the hermit on the bottom, and the emperor, oh my goodness, okay, emperor and the hermit. Your person's coming into their divine masculine, okay? So they're doing a lot of inner work with the hermit here, a lot of shadow work, they're coming into their divine masculine, there's a lot of recognition here. And they're going to have to do this kind of on their own. And they might have to do this um, during this tower moment of pain, which sounds very painful. And it's a very painful process. And it might take some time here, okay? But this is about how they think you feel. So right now they feel as though you are conflicted in moving forward. And you're conflicted in uh, the choices that you had to make to move away from this connection. Or at least the options that you have. You know, do you stay? Do you move forward? And they feel as though you... Um, yeah, they feel as though if you were to remain um, in this connection, or at least they feel like you feel, if you were to remain in this connection the way that it, it was, you would be kind of selling yourself short, okay? With this nine of coins in reverse and this ace of swords, this is like painful um, cutting words. And I feel like with the pain here of this situation and potentially the untruths, if this is this ace of swords kind of, down is that you are a pretty um independent successful person who's able to kind of stand in your own power but this connection wasn't allowing you to do this and this is how they think you feel and they also feel like they're definitely um you're coming from a place of needing you know a balanced give and take healing for sure is the biggest part of this because this is a healing card this is a healing card and that there's been so much pain in this connection that you're really just kind of wanting to heal and i feel like they feel like you are potentially more healed than they are in this state okay and this is what they're thinking that you're feeling that you're kind of being able to heal or at least you carry a little bit more um yeah, carry more healing from the situation is how it progressed. And they're also thinking that you've given up hope on any progression in this connection. Okay, Ace of Coins talks about that seed that we plant, that prospect, that beginning, you know, that tangible beginning of getting something off the ground. And the Page of Pentacles is one that um, goes out prospecting and makes things happen, right? It's like the first stages of making something happen. And they feel like there's this... Ten of Swords is painful ending to that. Like there is no way that this is going to progress. They feel like you feel there's no way that this is going to progress, or at least this is what's ended. Any progression, okay? And that the reason being is because now you have a greater perspective after your healing, after your period of healing, about what this actually means. And what it actually means is that you want to be in line with the truth, which is your own success, going after what it is that you need in order to bring you success as an individual that doesn't um, potentially involve them. Um, and that's what the truth of the matter is, or that's what you feel the truth of the matter is, that you can be successful without them, that you can have your own nine of pentacles, you don't need them so much, you've done a little bit of healing here, and what um, they see is that you've come to the conclusion that there's an ending here about progressing with them. And I feel there's a lot of emphasis on pentacles, which is maybe this person feels as though they can't give to you 
a foundation of stability when it comes to, I don't know, maybe you're more financially abundant than they are or have more to give in some capacity. And this is making them feel a little bit not that great about themselves. And the emperor obviously is one that likes control, likes to take control of the situation, wants to lead. So I feel like maybe they feel like you want to lead in some sort of way and that um, you are going to lead yourself to happiness. And you're kind of coming into this, making this choice, okay, because it's important to you, even though they know that you're challenged in making this choice, there is some inner conflict about this, okay, um, but yeah, they feel as though that's kind of where you're at as far as feelings in this connection, and let's pull some of these just to see. happiness okay uh, that was wanting to come in reverse yeah I feel like they know that you need to find your own happiness and this is kind of what is driving you okay despite being having inner conflict they want you or they feel you just want to be happy and that's what's happening right now and why you've pulled away uh humpback whale music is essential to your healing and well-being whether singing playing an instrument or listening I was totally getting uh, at the beginning there when I saw that queen of cups um that you have this creative way about you and potentially you and your person connect over music um and here we're talking about healing again so i feel like you um definitely were able to bring this person um some healing in their own life and some happiness uh they find you very uh, healing to them to their soul I don't want to take that, but I do want to take this one. Let's read this one. We have silver. Okay, so yeah, what I'm really getting from this silver card is that whole pentacle feeling I was getting. It's not quite gold. So I feel like they feel like they're second to you and it's causing them some sort of emperor complex. And I mean, silver needs to be maintenance. Um, you know, if it's not polished and taken care of it could definitely change color so I just feel like right now your person feels as though they need to maintenance themselves in such a capacity that they're showing up as gold in this connection and they don't feel like either they're um, able to show up as gold to provide the happiness you need and I feel like there's definitely this need for healing on their end or at least they feel like you feel they need to um, step up from silver to gold in some capacity or another Okay, um, yeah, I feel like this is kind of like second place too. It's not first place, right? So I kind of feel like your person feels kind of down on themselves um, when it comes to their confidence in this connection. And because we're also asking about how they think you feel, maybe they feel like you feel as though they're second to you or they're not gold and they don't want to feel this way because they want to feel like the emperor. So they're going inside and maybe you haven't intended on making them feel this way. I don't think you probably have. I think this is an internal thing that they need to deal with. Queen of Wands in reverse are very attracted to you. Yeah, they feel like you're not um, giving them um, any of that attention or that healing that you are providing to them in some capacity because of where the state of affairs is at. So anyway, this is what I have here for pile number two. I hope this resonated and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Hello, my beautiful pile number three, the Tarot of the Divine. Okay, if this is what you picked, then pile number three, this will be your reading. And we are going to take a look at how your person thinks you feel or see this connection. Okay, so this is definitely subjective because it's your person's perspective of how they think you feel in this connection about them, about the connection. We'll see what we see. Um, I think mostly what we got in the other two piles was how they feel about the connection so rather than just personally how they feel about the person as a whole so we'll see what we see here but before we get into their um that piece of their energy we're going to ask spirit for a clear and concise message regarding pile number three and just a general overall feel here so that pile number three knows this is their connection so whatever comes up um let it resonate with pile number three about this connection so that they know this is for them all right thank you so much spirit and thank you so much pile number three for allowing me to tap into your energy of you and your person i'm so blessed so grateful 
Thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's take a look. So I don't know what's going to come up. This is kind of general. So it could be your feelings. It could be the connection. It could be the overall tone of this connection right now as it sits. But we'll only pull like a few cards here. Okay. Thank you, spirits. Oh, I was feeling that. King of coins upgrade or reverse. We're going to do it this way. Okay. And ten of swords. And high priestess. Okay. And we got the queen of cups on the bottom of the deck. Now I'm going to pull some oracle. And we got comfort. And one of these as well. Uh, we got chip chimpanzee. Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question. This is giving me this high priestess thingy here uh, feeling. So I feel like there is right now, um, I mean, the Ten of Swords speaks about an ending. Okay, so this could very well be um, you're on an off period with your person or something has come to an end, a painful end. But it doesn't feel like the end because I have the high priestess, which is a knowing. Okay, and what I think is happening is that there's an end phase in this connection. And I feel like this king of coins was coming in reverse, but I feel as though what's happened is there's been a death of maybe um, your person not wanting to show up as this king of coins. And the king of coins is the most committed type uh, energy here of all the kings. Okay, they're reliable, they're stable, they're steady, they're able to be the husband, the caregiver, protector of the family. And I feel like maybe your person wasn't showing up in this some sort of capacity. Okay. And I feel like, well, this is also Virgo Taurus Capricorn, um, if you're resonating, but what I feel is happening here is that there is an end of a cycle that has been very painful with this person. Okay. And I feel like there is this knowing of, um, what this connection meant to you and means to you and i find it kind of cool she's reading this pink book and then we got pink here with comfort i feel like there's a comfort about this person that allows you to feel very protected and there's also this knowing and i feel like the knowing is that this person is your solid person okay and i feel like you've always kind of leaned into your intuition and that's what you've used to get the answers that you needed in order to help guide you in this connection despite things ending or things being um yeah very crazy and also queen of cups here speaks about um intuition because the queen of cups is very intuitive okay very artistic creative um and i mean artistic doesn't necessarily have to mean with painting or drawing could very well be with you know the way how she dresses i'm getting here like she's very much unique in expressing herself as an individual um so you could very well be resonating with cancer scorpio pisces your person could very well be virgo taurus capricorn or you can kind of do the switcheroni so this is a collective right but very prominent in those signs and i feel like yeah you are there's this kind of solid way of you um centered way about you when it comes to this connection that you've always relied on i don't feel like you're fearing anything i feel like you've gone through a lot of pain already and i feel like the worst is kind of over in this connection as well and i feel like you know this and maybe you're just here to see how your person is feeling about you now after this tumultuous period and i feel like your person is kind of engulfing this king of pentacles type energy this person wants to be your rock this person wants to build with you this person wants to grow this connection as slow as it's been happening i feel like this has been a long time coming working together with you because this is giving me three of pentacles type vibe okay it's like finally being able to collaborate in a way that you guys haven't in the past so there's an ending of something here that was painful and that there was always a knowing that there had to be a way to find to work together in your intuition okay uh four of cups yeah that's and, and it's in reverse so i feel like you're coming out of a state where things were really not good and your person also might be coming out of a state where they were rejecting your cup of love and rejecting this connection in some capacity and now they're kind of coming out of this with more engagement okay so if this is sounding like your connection then let's get into how your person is thinking you feel about them and this connection so spirit thank you so much for that clear and concise message 
Please don't allow my experiences to cloud my judgment as I communicate this message to pile number three regarding how their person is thinking they feel about them and this connection. All right. Let's look at this. And let's keep going. All right. So, yeah, if you're resonating with that, then this is your person. Um, if not, then yeah, go check out a different pile here. Six of Swords, Upright or Reverse. We'll keep them as they come out and I will communicate any sort of issues we see or blockages or restrictions. Okay, so we have Six of Swords, Reverse. We have the Four of Swords, Upright. We have Justice coming out in Reverse. We have the Star, Upright. And we have the Sun. <laughs> The star in the sun, you guys. I'm in love with this. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, that one definitely is giving me the vibe. Five of swords, and it is in reverse. Five of coins. Okay. Why is justice in reverse here? We got the five of wands in reverse. Mm. Okay, why is the star here? Death in reverse. And why is the sun here? Got the eight of swords. Okay. And bottom of the deck, we got the hermit. And I don't read bottom of the deck in reverse. So hermit and the wheel of fortune under that, which uh, confirms any sort of destined um, feelings you've had w about this connection. This is spirit confirming this destined connection in some capacity. Okay. Um... Yeah, so the Hermit being the undertone, I feel like has been the bulk of what's been going on in this connection. There's been a lot of introspection on both of your guys' end, okay? I'm seeing more of a buildup in this connection um, of how they feel. Because again, recently I feel there's been a shift or a death in this connection, okay? But the death really has been of how things have been progressing. And because we asked about how they think you feel, I feel as though they feel like you haven't... Um, been able to fully give up on them despite all of their ways of being okay um you haven't been able to let go of the hope that you held in this connection which for them is absolutely beautiful they're realizing this okay they're realizing what you've done for them in this connection and i feel like they're coming to terms with how unjust they have been to you in this connection so you haven't really pulled away and left them kind of on their own so despite feeling heartache and heartbreak you've been able to um remain and the four of swords talks about the next period after that three of swords where you're kind of trying to help heal yourself and get over pain and they feel like you've been able to heal yourself in such a way, um, despite all the pain they've caused you, because we're seeing the five of swords in reverse. Okay, so any sort of challenges that they brought upon this connection to you has been not out of their own want, but out of just how they've been showing up because the five of swords. I mean, if it was this way, I feel as though they slight you kind of by doing things that are very much um, maybe to benefit them. But what I feel is that they feel like a lot of the pain that's been caused in this situation has been caused because of how they were uh, showing up with and you kind of being collateral damage in some capacity, which has put you in this state of whack. Okay, um, feeling out in the cold and not having them and being alone and kind of experiencing this on your own and that three of swords on your own and having to kind of heal on your own, feeling very lonely and isolated. And they're very conflicted about having caused this because the five of wands talks about inner conflict here and they feel like that just is not um just okay so now this is how they're thinking you feel about them they feel like you despite seeing their actions and feeling alone and needing to heal and being conflicted about how unjust the situation is you still never let go of this hope in this connection because they feel as though you have this desire to um, move forward with this connection as a wish come true, okay? And they're having clarity around what this means to them. And I also feel as though they are kind of still in this Eight of Swords energy, 
And what that means to me is that they're not knowing how to release themselves from any guilt and any heaviness about this burden and this injustice that's been caused by their actions in this connection. They're trying to gain clarity around this so that they can release themselves of the eight of swords. They re recognize that they were limiting themselves, or at least that they recognize that you also recognize that they were limiting themselves in some capacity, holding themselves back in this connection um, by telling themselves things that potentially was not necessarily true, uh, held back by all sorts of reasons. I mean, this is a collective read re uh, reading. Um, but because we have the hermit here in reverse, I feel like, yeah, they, they've they done some internal work, but they also feel as though you're able to press forward um, because you have this, like, ability to hang on to what this connection means. And that for them, they're having a lot of realization around what that means to them as well. Platypus, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. I feel like, yeah, this person, despite all this, because that's totally giving me that, they acted in this sort of really like down and out and unjust way. And you've been able to still focus your attention on the blessings of this connection. Okay, because they've been, they, they recognize that they've been unjust. Their actions have been unjust. You've been able to muster through this three of swords to get to the four of swords on your own with your um, unspoken ability to still hang on to what this connection kind of means and not let it go because death means, you know, an ending. And with this in reverse, it's like not really um, allowing this sort of energy to impact where you wanted this connection to go, but letting everything else kind of fall to the wayside that isn't serving this connection. Okay. And I don't, yeah, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings. Like, I don't feel like you really gave this person um a beating about how they showed up i don't feel like this person um yeah feels like you really um tortured them in such a way or at least they feel like this was really unjust and you've been very positive and you've been very focused on the positive outcomes of this connection and they're really recognizing this success yeah I feel this is definitely Ten of Cups as well uh, with the success card, but I feel like they feel if it wasn't for you kind of hanging on to hope in this connection that um, potentially this connection could have gone a different way and they're really leaning in on your strength. They're leaning in on your knowing of this connection. There's a lot of realization around how much happiness you bring them as well with the sun and the success. I think they've always known that you bring them happiness, but I feel like in this connection specifically, um, yeah, in this connection specifically, I feel like the strength that you showed them despite this injustice, um, has really opened their eyes to everything more clear. You're shedding light around this eight of swords that they've been carrying. Like they need to address and look at this. And I think they know that, you know, that they've been limiting themselves in some capacity as well. And we have the oil of vitriol. So this is like um, this tiger is trying to bite the sun. And I feel like, yeah, this person, despite you coming in and offering them love, it's kind of like um, biting the hand that feeds you. What I get from this card, it's like you're this guiding light, the sun, this happiness, this knowing hanging on. And they've been pushing you away, biting you deceiving you, lying, com combative, any sort of negative way that they could be. Um, and you haven't really complained about it and you haven't really been unjust towards them. You've just been kind of there um, throughout it all, healing yourself, which is pretty damn amazing, I'd say, because this person has not been showing up in their best light. Okay, so this is how they're seeing it. Um, I don't know if I went deeper into this connection. Let's go one layer deeper here um, to see what we see. Uh, yeah, let's go one deeper layer. And Spirit, can we get another layer here for pile number three? We'll just do five cards as far as how does pile number three's person think pile number three feels about this connection and about them at this time clear and concise thank you all right 
five card spirits. Thank you. We got the four of wands. So that's my 1111 card, which to me signifies twin flame. If you are on a twin flame journey, this is um, solidifying that. Or you may feel as though this person is your soulmate of sorts. Um, okay, we got the death card. We got the sun. And spirit is saying upright. Okay, so what I'm picking up here is that your person feels as though there is a new beginning in this connection and they feel, um, because this is about how they think you feel, I, I believe they feel like you have this knowing and this certainty about what this connection means and that you understand that there is a death to old ways of being and patterns in this connection and that we're looking towards um, what the potential of this connection could mean. The roots of this connection has always been built on this four of wands, which is the stability. Okay. Um, and the fact that they've been every sort of which way hasn't really um, impacted what you believe to be certain in this connection, despite what transitions were happening in this connection. You've always been like the sun, which is very um, outshining everything and adding light and clarity. Okay, and the sun is the most powerful card in the tarot deck. Okay, so it kind of trumps every other card kind of around it. So I feel like despite transitions and deaths and ways of being in this connection, you've always been um, this, this um, knowing what this connection is. And what you knew this connection to be was this four of wands with a whole lot of potential. Okay, seven of cups talks about a bunch of different options, potential and um fantasy and i feel like we saw the star there this is giving me heavy like um wish upon a star something that is almost surreal okay this like fantasy type um feeling that i feel you can connect with on a deep level with this um connection i feel your person understands that you are um in tune with the building of this connection more so than they are or have been in the past. Okay, I'm gonna pull one more card here just to kind of clarify. Oh, okay, well, we wanted to clarify what this looks like. Seven of coins, another seven, and the five of coins in reverse. Yeah, so it's coming out of a period of where um, there's been a lot of pain and you feeling like you're left out in the cold. And then the seven of coins is like putting in effort and energy to, um, you know, really build something up. I feel like your person feels as though they need, really need to prove themselves in this connection. They really need to show up and they really need to put forward energy and effort and in order for this connection to kind of come out of the state that it's in. There's a lot of repair that needs to be done because of how they were all, you know, five of swords and all that pain. And I feel like there is this knowing that you have, that you're able to work with the potential of this connection but they also feel as though you have a lot of options uh aside from this connection as well and this has become a reality to them that if they cause you pain or if they're not able to provide and get you out of that lack mindset of being out in the cold that you could very well put an end to this connection and move towards something else that's more fulfilling for you that's going to provide you your stability Okay, so there's a fear here about you doing this, but I feel like this person has put an end to those ways in order for you not to move forward. Um, and they know that stability here, Four of Wands, is really important to you. But because there was such that certainty that you felt and you hung on to that star throughout that whole period, I feel they're very confident um, in the potential. And there's lots of potential in this connection between you and them. They just have to work on putting and in investing this energy and getting both of you guys out of the state of five of coins because I feel like this connection has been very draining despite your knowing. I mean, yes, you're able to go move towards whatever you want that's not causing you pain. And I feel like there is this realization now and that they're going to have to be more seven of pentacles and put in their own weight because I feel like you are in this four of swords, which is in this rest period from all the pain that they've caused you. And you're not going to just go move forward now. You're just going to shed light in these areas and allow this person to do what they need to do to either show up 
or let you find your four of wands. Okay. I don't feel you're going to chase. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's fairly positive. I feel like there's this new beginning. I feel like your person is coming into all these realizations that are really going to drive their actions forward in this connection. I feel like it's a long time coming and your person's been very slow that we saw there with the turtle, but, um, I do feel like it is beautiful. I feel the happiness. I feel the knowing, and I feel like it is a dream come true for both of you guys there with the wheel of fate. It is something destined. Um, so I wish you guys the very best leave a comment leave a like subscribe if you haven't and bless you guys so much we'll see you soon bye guys